a good day again. This is part two of our lesson, uh, Potter Coordinate System. And now we are going to uh, express or convert Cartesian equations to Potter equations and vice versa. All right. So let's deal with uh, converting Cartesian equations to Potter equations first. And to start with, let's have letter A, which is for x, y is equal to 7. Okay, so let me write down. Let me write it down first for x, y is equal to 7. There we go. This is 7. And uh, we need to convert this to polar equation. When we say polar equation, uh, we should be dealing with r and the uh, theta, all right? And for us to express theta, we should be using the trigonometric functions like sine, cosine, tangent, uh, cosecant, cotangent, and the uh, secant. All right, whichever applies. Okay, and we know that uh, x is equal to r, sorry, r cosine theta, and y is equal to r sine theta. So which means that we are going to use these equations for us to convert this equation for x, y equals seven to a Potter equation or whichever Cartesian equation we should be using this, okay? So for us to do that, let's substitute. So four times x is r cosine theta times the y is r sine theta. Okay, sorry, sine theta is equal to seven. And let's simplify for r squared cosine theta sine theta is equal to seven. And let's solve for r in terms of the angle measure and the trigonometric functions as well. So that's seven over four cosine theta times sine theta. Now, uh, the expression in the denominator cosine theta sine theta is quite familiar. Uh, if you remember an identity, which is called sum and difference of uh, two angles identity, or we also call it double angle identity, sine two theta is equal to two cosine theta sine theta. All right, so if you want to recall uh, the identities or fundamental identities in trigonometry, uh, you, could, uh, arrive, you could derive this formula actually from uh, the sum and difference of two angles or with the use of the fundamental, uh, fundamental identities, okay? So we have seven divided by two, okay? We need to factor out two here to form a, this expression. So we have sine two theta, all right? And this is equal to R squared. Also, we could express sine two theta into another form with the use of uh, cos and theta. So R squared is equal to seven uh, cos secant two theta, over two, because we know that uh, sine two theta is equal to one over cos secant theta, okay? So uh, we have two different expressions or equations, but uh, they're just equivalent to one another. And this is equivalent, uh, these are the equivalent equations of the given uh, partition equation for x, y, Okay, I hope it's clear. And let's deal with letter B. You may pause the video and try to solve this first. Okay, so let's have letter B. The question is, or the given Cartesian equation is x minus one square plus y square is equal to one. And again, we are going to make use of these equations, r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. So let's substitute. Where, uh, yeah, let's have it. We have r cosine theta minus one plus r mm, sine theta square is equal to one. Okay, so let's simplify the, the left hand side since the left hand side of the equation is complex, right? It's more complex than uh, the left hand side. So this becomes r square cosine square theta minus two r cosine theta. I, I am just squaring, okay, the, the binomial. 
So plus one plus r squared sine squared theta is equal to one. And we can simplify uh, expressions here. Okay, and we know that uh, we can cancel out one here. So this becomes zero and zero here as well. And uh, we know that the first term and the last term on the left-hand side of the equation have something in common, which is R squared. And once we factor out R squared, we can have the cosine squared plus sine squared, which is another identity, a fundamental identity, which is called the Pythagorean identity, all right? So we can uh, associate them and factor out R squared. So cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta a minus 2r cosine theta is equal to 0. So we know that we know that a cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So therefore, this is just equal to 1. Okay, and we have the, the equation of turns to r squared minus 2r cosine theta is equal to zero, all right? And let's move on to the next slide for us to uh, simplify. Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. So that's r squared. Let me just copy. r cosine theta is equal to zero. Is it correct? Yeah, 2r, sorry, 2r cosine theta. Now here, uh, we can factor out, sorry, we can factor out r since both terms have uh, r. So this becomes r minus 2 cosine theta is equal to 0. r is equal to 0 and r minus 2 cosine theta is equal to 0. However, uh, it says here that r or the radius is equal to zero, which is quite not, um, not equivalent to the given because the radius here is equal to zero, uh, sorry, to one, right? Because this is equal to r square and uh, one square is just equal to one. So therefore this is, we're not going to use this. This is just like an extraneous root uh, when we deal with algebra equations, okay? So our equation now in polar form is r is equal to two cosine theta. And this is now the equivalent, okay? Equivalent equation of the given uh, Cartesian equation to polar, polar forms. So this one, this is now our final answer, all right? And I hope you got it correctly. Okay, so here we go. Now let's have example number six here we are going to convert the other way around. So given a polar equation, convert it to Cartesian, okay? So our first example is letter A, which is R is equal to six. Now the given example here, a polar equation, which is R is equal to six, means that the radius is just equal to six, right? So which means when you say radius, we are talking about a circle. It means a circle with radius six, right? So if we're going to, uh, draw the circle with the radius six, something like this. And this is six, negative six, sorry, negative six, negative six, and six, something like that. And its equation is x squared, y squared is equal to six squared, right? If the center is at the origin. However, let's see if we're going to get the same thing, all right? So for us to make use of the formula r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared using the unit circle, okay? Now we square both sides. So that's r squared is equal to 36. And we know that r squared is equal to this. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. So this is now the equivalent uh, Cartesian, sorry, we have Cartesian equations from polar equation. Okay, so we got this correctly. And let's move on to example letter B and try to solve this before uh, watching the solutions, okay? So letter B, the problem is R is equal to pi over two, 
3 sine. So 2 cosine theta minus 3 sine theta. Okay, here we go. And we need to convert this to a uh, Cartesian equation, which means that we're dealing with x and y. So we know that x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta, which means that uh, these are these cosine theta, sine theta should have an r for, our, for us to convert this expression to x and y or in terms of x and y. And how do we do that? We have r here and we have this expression as a denominator so we can uh, express it in other form by multiplying the denominator to numerator on the left side. So we have r, sorry, let me just multiply it right away to r2, r cosine theta minus three r sine theta is equal to five, right? And, oh, here we go. So we have r cosine theta, r sine theta. And we know that r cosine theta is equal to x, sorry. And uh, r sine theta is equal to y, so 3y is equal to 5. So this is now the equivalent equation, Cartesian equation specifically with a given quarter equation. Okay, so I hope you got it correctly as well. And let's work on a uh, number letter C. r is equal to time, 2 sine theta. So r letter C is equal to 2 sine theta. And again, uh, we are going to make use of x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. Theta. So we are going to focus on the, uh, the sine theta here, all right? And we can convert this to y whenever there's an r in sine theta. So, or it is expressed as r sine theta. However, there's none. And we can't do anything with the use of the r on the left side since uh, we cannot, uh, let's just multiply them, them, okay? To express it as one expression, okay? Because they are of uh, different sides of the equation. However, there's another way to do that by multiplying both sides by r. So multiplying by r, r times r is equal to r times two sine theta. I'm just showing that uh, I multiply both sides by r. So this becomes r squared is equal to two r sine theta, okay? And what is the equivalent of r squared? r squared is just equal to x squared plus y squared and two. And what is r sine theta? This is the y, right? Okay, so let's simplify. So this becomes uh, x squared uh, minus or plus y squared minus 2y is equal to zero. Actually, this could be expressed as the answer already. Okay? This is equivalent to the given polar equation. However, let's try expressing our final answers in terms of uh, a, a circle in standard form, if it can be. Okay, so let's do that here. So x squared plus, oh, we can, transform this into a, a, a y minus or something, okay? So y minus one square plus one equals zero. Sorry, min minus one. This one should be minus one by completing the square, all right? So x square, I hope you still remember that. So x square plus y minus one square is equal to one. So this is now a, uh, a circle uh, equation in standard form with the radius one, okay? So a circle with zero, one, as the center with radius one, something like that, all right? So this is another way to express our uh, final answer to convert or in converting polar form, uh, polar, polar equations, uh, R is equal to two sine theta to a Cartesian equation, okay? In a form of a circle. Right. I hope everything is okay. Okay, so let's try solving another problem. Let's find out some. Okay, now let's uh, convert this Cartesian uh, equation to a polar equation. Let's have another problem, all right? A more complex one. Now, how do we do this? First, uh, again, uh, we need to review our values of, sorry, 
Oh, sorry. Uh, this should be Y. Let me just erase it. All right, here we go. So we know that X is equal to R cosine theta and Y is equal to R sine theta and R square is equal to X square plus Y square. Okay, so these are the three equations that we will be using for us to convert Cartesian equation to polar equation. So we can now directly substitute these uh, equations here or look at the denominator. So the denominator in the given problem has three X squared plus three Y squared, which can be, uh, I mean, the three can be factored out. So we have four X over three times X squared plus Y squared is equal to six minus x y, okay? So let's make use of these equations, this three. So we have four r cosine theta over three, sorry, three. Now this is equivalent to r square, right? This is equal to six minus x y is equal to r cosine theta times r sine theta. And let's simplify our answers or our equation. Uh, we can simplify this. You can cancel out the R. So we have four cosine theta over uh, three R is equal to six minus R squared. R squared cosine theta sine theta. There we go. So this is now our equation. However, we can still simplify this. Okay. Uh, how do we simplify uh, this one? So we have uh, four cosine theta is equal to 18 R minus three R cubed cosine theta sine, sorry. Oh, let me just fix this. Sine theta. Sine theta. All right. So this is another way to express this equation. Or the other way around is how do we do this? Now, we know that there is an existing identity that we can use for us to simplify this expression. Okay, let's try uh, doing that. So we have, or let's rewrite this first. So we have three R cubed cosine theta, sine theta, uh, plus four cosine theta minus 18 R is equal to zero, okay? And again, we can simplify this. I could uh, multiply this by two such that I could use the sine two theta is equal to two cosine theta, sine theta. So I will be using this identity for me to simplify this expression or equation. So multiplying it by two so, such that I could get two here. So we have uh, three R cubed, two sine theta, cosine theta plus eight cosine theta minus 36 R plus zero. So here we go. So we have three R cubed, and this is equal to sine two theta plus eight cosine theta minus three six r equals theta, uh, sorry, zero. So this is our final answer. Okay, let me rewrite that. So three r cubed sine two theta plus eight cosine theta minus 36 R equals zero. So this is another uh, equation, or sorry, polar equation that is equivalent to the given equation here, okay? And the other one is this, you can use this, you can use this, you can use that, and everything that, everything in this equation could be used as the equivalent equation of, or for the given uh, rectangular equation, okay? So, the equivalent expression is not actually a uh, it's not actually unique. There could be more than one uh, polar equations that can be used to say that it is equivalent or they are equivalent to.
the given partition equation. All right? So there are plenty. Okay, especially once you simplify them into another form, because uh, trigono trigonometry has a lot of identities that we can use. That's why there are more than one answers here. Okay, all right. So I hope you got it correctly as well. Okay, try to uh, do this or solve this before watching the video on how to solve this problem. So how do we solve this problem here? Okay, now again we know that. Uh, let's review x is equal to r cosine theta, y is equal to r sine theta, and uh, r squared is equal to x, x squared plus y squared. Okay, these are the three equations that we usually use to uh, convert uh, rectangular equations to partition equations to polar equations or vice versa. So we know that x is equal to r cosine theta. So it's squared is equal to four. This is R cosine theta as well over uh, R sine theta minus three R sine theta plus two. So let's simplify. So this becomes R square cosine square theta is equal to four. Now we could we could simplify this, right? So this becomes um, cosine cotangent theta. We could cancel out r here, okay? So this becomes four cotangent theta minus three r sine theta plus two. Okay, so this is now our equation that we can say equivalent to the given. Uh, rectangular or okay oh i see upon checking this is y square this is square sorry this is square this is square so this should be square i forgot that all right okay so still uh this is our equation or if you want to simplify cosine square into sine square such that you can uh simplify that or combine that with this that's fine as well you can also do that but still you cannot uh simply expressing this equation in terms of sine because you still have the, uh, the cotangent here, okay? So um, I would accept this one as an equation, all right? Okay, here we go. Now let's have another one. So let's try this uh, polar equation into, or convert this polar equation to partition. How do we deal with this? Okay, so we have six R cubed sine theta equals uh, four minus cosine theta. And again, uh, we know that X is equal to R cosine theta and Y is equal to R sine theta and R square is equal to X square plus Y square. Okay, so we will be using these equations again for us to uh, convert this polar to our <clears throat> All right, so let me just copy so six R cubed sine theta equals four minus cosine theta. Now we should be expressing this equation in terms of x and y, no r's and no thetas or trigonometric uh, expressions, okay? So uh, we can express this in terms of a y, but how about the cosine theta? Because it doesn't have an r. But we know that r could be expressed as r is equal to x squared of x squared plus y squared. So uh, there must be an r here. For us to do that, for to come out to come up with that uh, expression, we need to multiply both sides by r. So this becomes six r four sine theta is equal to four r minus r cosine theta. Okay. So we let's re-express cube r sine theta because for r minus r cosine theta. There we go. So let's uh, simplify this in terms of x and y. So six r cube is equal to what? Okay, r cube is equal to, hmm, that's, sorry, that's square root of, x square 
plus y square cubed, right? And r sine theta is equal to y is equal to four, r is equal to the square root of x, sorry, x square plus y square minus y, r, sorry, minus x, because we're dealing with cosine. Okay, let me just, there we go. So this is x. Okay, and let's try simplifying this. This becomes 6y, uh, the square root of, uh, yeah, x squared plus y squared cubed is equal to 4 square root of x squared plus y squared minus x. Okay, so we can say that this is now the equivalent equation, partition equation of this polar uh, equation given. Okay? So if you want to simplify this still, then you may do so. As long as you're not violating any rule, then it's still an equivalent uh, partition equation of the given polar equation, okay? Uh, I hope you still got the correct answer here. Okay, and if you have some questions, just uh, comment or post your uh, questions under this video as a comment. And I hope everything is fine. Thank you.